Well, good morning, and welcome to a new series for Lord of the Rings Online. Now, a little while back, somebody had asked me about how to get Lotro points in-game. So, to help us out, we have the dwarf Thormern, and he is on a non-VIP account. So... He does not have the benefits of Medriel or Fistula. And I thought that only fair because most people who are interested in gaining Lotro points in game are probably people who are not VIP. Now, I will be honest, what we're going to do works a lot faster. If you happen to know a high level player who's willing to help you out, and do most of the heavy lifting, you know, the killing, for you. But, we're going to see how long it takes to do these things on a character by himself. And, we start at Ered Lewin on the Kellendom side. We're going to take... Elian's quest here, which I will not be reading. I will not be reading quests for this. But, we want to do quest because getting the quest deed complete will actually get you around 50 Lotro points alone. And I have already checked how much Lotro points I'm starting with. So, I know... Will you stay a moment? How many points I get by the end of this. I do not know how long this will take, but it's going to be a short run series. Probably no more than uh, a dozen episodes, maybe. Let's get started. All right, so we want his quest. And yes, he's a dwarf, and usually a dwarf would start on the dwarven side, but we're starting on this side because Gray is the shadow upon it's my heart. Easy. Okay, so we want his Might quest. You spare a moment of your time? And then we want to go up the stairs here. And we're gonna grab this guy's quest just Maid so we honor. remember it. Might you spare a moment of your time? Now The usual routine that I do for creating a character to get Lotro points is Kellendom, Shire, Vree. And Kellendom just seems to be the easiest place to start. Followed by the Shire, which has quite a few Slayer Deeds. And Bree lasts because, well, Bree ends up having some of the higher level stuff. Alright, so we want some some of these flies for the quest. We'll go ahead and get them real quick. And my preference is to use a ranged fighter that can move and fight. And in this case, I have chosen the hunter. But a minstrel, a runekeeper, or a lore master would work just as well. And he's even getting steel tokens from this. How lovely. We'll have to turn those in for some goodies or maybe even some extra skirmish marks before we're done. <coughs> I cho chose a dwarf because, to be honest, it's a lot easier to delete a dwarf when you're done. So, okay, see, we want, we want to get rid of that quest because that's just anniversary stuff. And that's the one we want marked. Okay. We're going the right direction.
we are headed to the back because one, the main quest is back here, and two, well, one of our Slayer Deeds is wolves, and there will be plenty of wolves back there. All right. Now, let's get back on a horse. And he has a, a lovely set of armor. Which armor set is this? It came with one of the boxes. This is the Three Peaks cosmetic set. And the horse also came. So everything, his cosmetic set, his horse, are from the free anniversary stuff that they're giving away. Deed log. We have found one of the elf ruin. Yes, there are three three separate explorations that we're going to do in Eric Lowen. I am at your service. So we Welcome. drop that you quest off. We pick this time. one up. We drop this quest How can off. I be of service? We get anything good? Oh, we get a slightly better bow. I'm not going to turn that down. Will you lend me your and ear? then we pick up that quest. We switch out the bow. And then we talk to these two people. Grab their Stay. quest. One of them for wolves and the other to gather wood. And it looks like somebody else was in here. Should be kind of interesting. I think we're going to be competing with more people for the mobs now. Especially since I usually see wolves at this point, but I don't see any. And like I said, usually I would have one of my own higher level characters or my friend's higher level character who would do the heavy lifting. And doing it that way, it takes maybe three casual evenings, a couple hours at a time to get everything done. So, and... We leveled up, and Wolf Slayer Deed has been started. Very good. So, you can see... What would we play? A Most Curious Hobbit. Okay, I didn't do anything with that. And it's telling me I need to purchase trait slots. I don't care. Wolf Slayer Deed. So... 30 for regular, 60 for advanced. We need to kill 90 wolves in all. Easy enough to accomplish. And like I said, it's a good idea to have a ranged fighter for this. It just makes life a whole lot easier. And if you're going with the hunter, I highly recommend the blue line because that is the line where you can actually move and fight so makes kiting your enemies a lot easier too all right so we still need some wood i think or maybe we got all the wood we need i'm surprised usually it takes me a lot longer so we are actually looking for Averthal's backpack, which is can be in a couple of different spots. And in this case, it's over this way. 
But yeah, there's like three different spots where you may potentially find this quest item. And of course, while we're doing that, we're gonna kill some more wolves. Okay. And because he's low level, and because there is a small experience gain right now, he's getting levels a little faster than he usually would, but not a ton it looks like. It looked like it was only like a 3% gain. And of course we have our wolves coming back. And how many have we killed so far? 14 of them. I debated doing like a sp sp speeding it up. But I kind of want you to see exactly how long it would take for somebody to do this on their own. Of course, if you happen to know somebody in the game with a higher level character, I mean, even a level 50 would do it. Or if you happen to be using a level 50 Valor Stone, well, this would be even faster. Because obviously, you're going to one-shot a lot of things with a higher level character. But if you're starting from ground zero, and you don't have anybody to help you out, well, I wanted to show you worst case scenario. I guess that makes sense. But as you can see, it's not so hard. Hey, come back here. Oh, hello, wolf. Well, thank you for joining the party. Man, I seem to be having a little lag here. Well, I did say worst case scenario. Lag is definitely a worst case scenario. do we have left? Okay, so we just finished Wolf Slayer. So that's our first five Lotro points. And it didn't take us that long to do. And they respawn pretty quick, too. So, by the time you've made your round, they're back on the other side. Pretty handy.
I have to admit, it's kind of weird being on a dwarf instead of the usual elf or man or, well, even Miss Astola. How far are we into the next one? Eight of sixty. Okay. Now, of course, there's obviously other places we can find wolves at, so we don't have to spend all our time here. But I like to get as many of my wolves as possible at the beginning, because they're only like level 6, 7, 8, and they're easy to kill. And I think we've actually... Yeah, we kind of got ahead of the respawn a little tiny bit. So we're going to do one more run around this. And then we're going to go back and turn those quests in. Which actually, we should even have another quest... Oh, we haven't got... Oh, because our bags. Oh, good grief. We have a ton of these things. Okay. Loot. And then we can destroy the rest of them. It's been giving me these iron collars the whole time, and I didn't notice. Look at all these little iron collars. Iron collar, iron collar. Obviously, they want you to take this quest. And the rest of it, I think that's all iron. Whoop, except for that. We'll take that for the gold. And the rest of it, we're just going to destroy it all. Yes. Now, the one that we picked up, we've accepted that quest. And we're going to finish our run around the glade and then head back to the quest givers and while I'm here I, I know this is a wonderful place to stop and do this isn't it we are going to slot our focus there so we remember it and focus is good for a hunter it just gets their focus up to max which they need in order to use some of their skills. Smaller skills actually refill that, but bigger skills use it. Uh, looks like somebody else is here doing this too. We are just about done in this spot, so we won't be taking up too much of their time. We like I like to not be rude when I'm doing Slayer Deeds, especially if somebody's actually doing quest. I don't want to... I don't want them to, you know, get behind just because I'm killing stuff. All right. So... How many do we have left? We're at 25 of 60, so we're almost halfway done with the Advanced Slayer Deed. 
But we're going to come over here and turn what in these quests, of which we have four or five now. And he's going to give us another quest, which is back at Kellendom. And this is the collared quest. We'll take the healing potion. Might Thank you. you. Spare a moment of your time? We want to talk to the Glade Watcher in Kellendom. And we want this helm. And we're done that. Greetings, traveler. And we need to bring the satchel to Cardivore, who is not going to be happy because that is his son's bag. Alright, so. Back on our horse. And back down to Kellendom. Almost went after the copper ore, but he doesn't have any crafting skills. He won't need them. Now, the Vel flies are not a Slayer Deed. Thank goodness. There's enough of those. Okay, so we want to go this way. Whoa, well that was some lag. That was some lag and a half. Okay. So we'll go up here. The crafting area, cause there is Why don't you spare a moment of your time? You no, know I'll do that because It'll at least be some points. There. It'll get me some XP. And it would help if I remembered where the crafting area was. So we turn that in. Greetings to you. We turn this one in. This is the quest. Greetings to you. And of course, he has another Greetings, quest for friend. us, which we're going to take. Because it'll lead us to another area, Greetings, which we're friend. going to Will anyway. You me your ear? All right. Do we have anything? I guess we don't really have to worry about it, but we're going to sell off over here real quick. What do you need? I like to keep my bags clean. And we'll get that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Okay. Back out into the world. And until you get to, like, level 10, you don't really get item damage. But once you hit level 10, you have to start worrying about repairing things. I'm going to turn this quest in. Megovanen. And that's the last we need to talk to him. Talk to Cardivore. The sorrows of the Eldar are never ending. Will you stay and he wants and us to go troubles? defeat Pamparush. And some goblins. And of course, goblins are another Slayer Deed. At this point, he's already gotten up to level 8. 
And that's from doing the intro and the these few quests that we just started with. Which I did not show you the intro because, well, that wasn't necessary. You don't get any Lotro points for doing that. So we want to continue going up this way. And of course, there are a few yellow mobs up this way. And up here at this little tower, we run into this elf. And we're going to turn in that Greetings quest. To you. And Greetings she's going to have us pick, pick grapes for wine. We're going to Greetings, friend. get you this one, and we need to gather wine casks from goblins. As you can see, we're starting to get some slightly higher level than us mobs. But, again, that is not going to be a problem, especially not for a hunter. And new deed started. Goblin Slayer. Now, we will not have to get all the goblins here. Because we'll be killing goblins aplenty. And... Deed completed. That we, we know we did the wolf slayer. Wolf tamer. Five points. And of course you see our deeds. Okay, back to what we were doing. We're actually almost ready to level up again, so that's good. And there we go. He has not gotten his hunter speed skill yet, which is too bad. Because we could be doing this even faster if we had find the path on, which is the name of that skill. It, it does help, trust me. Okay, grab these, kill, kill goblin, I have to admit, when doing this I would usually have some music on, most likely something like Audio Machine, because I do love their music. Although, music from Lotro is also a good choice, especially Moria music. Okay. Now, up we go. Go around this way, around back. There's another camp of goblins. Which we're gonna have to watch our health a little. Okay, a potion would be nice about now. All right, we are back in the game. See, there are lots of goblins here. We should easily get the first part of the Goblin Slayer by the time we're out. 
You see, and they get at least a second run through this because even though, like I said, we will be killing lots of goblins, this is a nice, concent large concentration of them. And since we won't be doing... We won't be doing Wrath to Reg. The only thing Wrath to Reg is really good for is... Exploration. And that only gets you five Lotro points. So I generally tend to avoid it. And, um... Uh, if you hear any really loud meowing, well, say hello to Miss Carol. She wants some attention right now. She has her favorite toy, one of them, and she is carrying it around, meowing at the top of her lungs. This is her indication of, hey, look at me, I want to play, or look at what I did. Now, we are at 22 of 30, and we're going to go grab this guy. He was the boss that we needed here, and he used to be a much higher level than he is now. He's kind of weak sauce now. Okay. Oh, can't get to him. He's on the other side of the fence at the moment. I'll have to hop the fence to get to him, or wait for him to hop the fence. I'm impatient, so... We'll hop the fence to get to him. Probably be a good thing to hit a potion real quick. You do get a few freebie potions in uh, your gift boxes. Not the ones for the 15th anniversary, but there are gift boxes that you get starting out. It gives you little things. And we have earned another five Lotro points because we completed the regular Goblin Slayer deed. We have a whole ton of stuff in that bag, too. Well, we're going to be selling off some stuff. So. A slow start. Ten, ten Lotro points. But we haven't started in on the quest deed yet. I do not know how many quests I need left for the first part. Uh, places of Ally of Arid Luan. So I need to turn in, was it two more quests? And that'll be 10 Lotro points there. Which we'll be able to do quite shortly. So, looks like we have quite a few people doing quests out this way. Very nice. The 15th anniversary and all the freebies do seem to be uh, attracting either new players or old players to return to the game. So, 
no complaints there. I'm definitely happy to see people in the game. And we're at 460. We're about to be at 6 of 60. But I'm not going to waste that guy's time. I'm going to let him get his kills down there instead of doing my second run. <laughs> Alright, so we turn in here, and we have two to turn in. Greetings to you. We'll get that. Sweet we'll get Malon. that. Sweet Malon, will you stay a moment? We need to head back to Kellendom. We also just got another 10 Lotur points for Ally of Eridlun. So now we're, we're moving along a little bit. We're at 20 Lotur points. And we want to head across the water this way because we have another quest to head up here. So we need to defeat foul creatures. Which will be plenty easy to do. In fact, we'll even get a couple more wolves doing this. more foul creatures but we want the wolves because the rats are not a deed the wolves are oh well we're gonna kill that rat okay now we've killed everything we need to kill and there is the stone table and now we can turn in three more quests Thorman's having a very good time doing this. I mean, he is a dwarf after all. Give him a couple axes, a pint of ale, and something to fight. And he's very happy. So we are going to go down this way. We want to go to the crafting area first. So we got to talk to that elf again, the one that sent the cast to the vineyard while he's getting that back. And he will have another quest for us. Greetings to you. And he wants Greetings, me to friend. bring a bottle Greetings, of wine Maria. to Duland. I would ask him why he can't do it himself, but he actually does seem to be busy doing some work. Most of the NPCs are just standing around twiddling their thumbs. And Cardivore. The sorrows of the Eldar. And we have fate or end. might. We're gonna go with might. Will you hear my sorrows? And he will. He would like me to go to. I believe he wants me to go to. Duland as well, but he also wants me to stop off and talk to this elf here, at the stable, which we will do. Might you spare a moment of your time? Another good, good reason to do the quest while you're doing the deeds here just makes, the quest. Or makes the deeds seem a little less grindy because you're doing something. 
And he also would like me. See, at level 10, you get item wear on defeat. Okay. He would also like me to go to Duland. And we just got a couple of things we can. Wait, was that better? Yes, it was. Yes. Yes. And yes. Not the greatest stuff in the world, but slightly better than what we had. And boy, we just filled up our bags real quick. So we have... I have no idea. Another deed bestowed. Skirmish is available. He's level 10. You're talking about skirmishes. A title. Lotro points. Oh, we got another five Lotro points on top of what we had, so we've gotten 25 so far. All right. So everything is point, uh, pointing us to Duland. We'll take the stable there. And next time we will pick up with the next steps of earning Lotro points in Eridluan. And until then, bye for now.